Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to do a styling video and I'm going to style this dress four different ways. I'm going to try and do some more daytime looks and some more evening looks within the video. This is a great way when shopping to think if a item is worth the purchase, if you can see yourself styling it in three or four different ways. So hopefully if nothing else, this video gets you thinking a little bit more sustainably about how many items you're purchasing and how long you'll actually wear it for. I've also been slowly gaining more expensive products into my wardrobe that I think will last a lot longer in my wardrobe than some other items. And sometimes it's nice to sort of, instead of buying like six different things um, on ASOS that you might not wear all the time, um, to buying one item that you know is going to look so good on you and you'll be able to style up in a few different ways. So I'm going to be styling this dress today which was gifted to me from the outnet but they are not sponsoring this video so it's not a sponsored video, I just wanted to do a nice style video. But I will link it in the description down below, it's from Gani originally and it's on the outnet and I think it's about £120. So obviously quite expensive compared to like High Street, but it's sort of just the next level up. Um, so if you're looking for a brand to branch into, Gani is a good sort of entry level brand. So anyway, I'm gonna get started and show you guys how I style up this dress. This is first outfit and it's much more of a casual day outfit. I've got on this t-shirt underneath. Um, t-shirts are great with crisscross um, dresses because it means Nothing will be on show or like too much cleavage in the daytime I think is sometimes a bit too much. And then I have on this gold chain necklace from Topshop. Dress is obviously Gani. This jacket is from All Saints but I got it at Vista Village um, a few years ago. So I will try and find something similar and link it down below. But I love styling like pretty girly dresses with biker style sort of jackets. And then this bag kind of matches the jacket quite well. This is from Randy Melville. You can probably still get these. I got this kind of recently. And then for shoes, I've styled this outfit with trainers. These ones are from Adidas. So yeah, this is the first outfit. So outfit number two could be worn in the day or the night. Up to you. But I have on this faux fur jacket from Topshop. And then underneath this, I have on a black long sleeve jumper that's underneath the dress and it pokes out the sleeves as well at the end so you see a bit of black and it's got a really pretty scallop um, detail and then I went with some kind of fun tights for this look I'll try and show you they are like polka dot tights but I just thought the polka dots and the animal print and the faux fur kind of gave really interesting textures and patterns and then for shoes I am wearing these Vagabond um, loafers, which are quite chunky and masculine, so they kind of tone down all of the girliness. And then this little bag I found in a charity shop, and I'm sure if you type in beaded bags on eBay, then you will find something similar to this. Yeah, that's the second outfit, pretty girly, but kind of yeah. feel it's going to be quite love hate <laughs> with most of you guys. I live in the countryside, so I quite like. Styling things up with a bit of a country look sometimes. A very easy way to style this in the daytime would be to just wear black everything with it because it's got a lot of black in the dress. But I thought I'd do a little bit of a more different daytime look that's maybe not so obvious. I'll style the dress firstly with this hat which is from Black of Colour. This one's available on Selfridges, that's where I bought this one. So a lot easier to send back if you're not too sure if you want to go down the lack of colour um, hat route. <laughs> and then this little PC Borg style jacket is from H&M and this was £12 in the sale which is ridiculous. And then for boots I have got on these brown Clark's boots which just make everything look a bit more rustic and country looking. For the day look this time I didn't put anything underneath the dress but you could still put like a grey t-shirt might look quite nice with this or like a grey long sleeve um, so yeah this is outfit number four and it's more of an evening 
going out outfit. Um, I have on silver jewellery, which I never normally wear, um, but I've got this really cool little silver choker and silver earrings. I kind of went for like a 90s look with this outfit. Lots of silver hardware in the jacket and the bag. The jacket is from All Saints, um, again a few years ago, but I sort of just chucked it over my shoulders. Um, and then this bag is from Philip Lim. This was also gifted to me the other day by the Outnet. Um, but I love it so much. And then these amazing boots are from Stuart Wiseman. And I just think they make this outfit look so cool. They're sort of like western style. And they have a really rubbery sole, which I love in the high heels because it makes it so much easier not to fall over in them. So yeah, this is outfit number four. So that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favourite and if you were to style up this dress, how you would style it. I will link as many of the items as I can that were in the video down below in the description bar and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.